All right, let's create a simple save and load system using the Unreal Engine third person template. This is Rumbod and I hope you find this video helpful. We'll set up a basic save and load system that focuses on saving the player's transform. Of course, you can easily extend this to save any other type of data you need in your game. So, let's get started. After opening your project, go to the content drawer, right click and create a new blueprint class. Set the parent class to save game. Name the new class bp underscore my save, then save and open it. Inside this blueprint, we're going to add the variables that will be saved to disk. For now, we'll just create one variable called player transform and set its type to transform. Compile and save the blueprint. Now head over to your content drawer and open the third person blueprint called BP underscore third person character or any other blueprint class that you want to save data from. Now search for the input key H. I'll use this key to trigger the save functionality. So let me just add a comment above it just so I don't forget. Let's write save. Okay. So I'm using the H key for saving. Now search again, this time for the input key J. This is the key I'll use to trigger the load functionality. So now we have two keyboard buttons assigned, H for saving and J for loading. We can use these to trigger the save and load logic in our blueprint. Starting from the H key event, I'll drag out a node and search for create save game object. In the save game class, I'll select BP my save. Now I'll promote the return value to a new variable. I'll call this variable save object. Next search for get actor transform. This gets the transform of the actor we're working with. In this case, it's the character itself. Now use set player transform. This player transform is the variable we created earlier in the BP my save blueprint. So we're taking the actor's transform and assigning it to the player transform inside the save object that we just created. Next, we need to actually save it to disk. So I'll use the node called save game to slot for the save game object. We'll plug in the save object variable and for the slot name, I'll enter my save. Now let's move on to loading. Starting from the J key, I'll drag out and search for does save game exist. For the slot name, use my save. If it exists, we'll check the result with a branch node. If the save does exist, we'll load it from the slot using load game from slot. Again, use the slot name my save. If it doesn't exist, we'll print a message that says no save exists. That way, we know a save hasn't been created yet. Now from the load game from slot output, I'll cast it to BP my save. That's the same save game class we made earlier from the cast output. I'll use set actor transform. This will set our player's position. For the new transform, I'll plug in player transform from the casted save object. That's the same transform we saved earlier, and now we're restoring it back to the player. Now we've done almost everything. The last step is to override from the event begin play. So when the game starts, we immediately check if a save file already exists, and if it does, we load it right away. Now I'll run the game, you can see it prints, no save game exists. I walk here, press H to save, then press J to load. As you can see, it takes me right back to the saved location. I'll save again here, move somewhere else, press J, and it loads exactly where I saved. That wraps it up. If this helped, subscribing really supports the channel and helps future videos reach more developers.